ocean predators, the monsters of the movies. Or are they? Can carnivores like sharks actually help us to protect the oceans and ourselves? To find out, scientists around the world have been tagging some of our ocean's largest predators. From huge tuna, to all kinds of shark. These tags can tell us where these ocean hunters are going and when they are going there. The scientists then take that data and set up their online profiles. It's kind of like Fish Facebook. With tens of thousands of individual profiles already created, hundreds of thousands of days worth of data and status updates from these predators, scientists are creating a live feed straight from the ocean. A real-time global map is taking shape and it's revealing extraordinary things about our ocean's complex social network. The key migration routes of ocean travelers, where fish like Pacific herring go to breed and feed larger species on the food chain. Ultimately, this social network of the seas is pinpointing parts of the ocean that matter the most and need the most protection. Important coastal ecosystems, like the mangroves and seagrass of the Bahamas, are just one. 53 miles due east of Miami, Bimini Shark Lab have been studying the local shark population since 1990. By tagging and monitoring populations of lemon shark over the last 25 years, researchers from the lab have discovered some remarkable aspects of lemon shark life history. This three meter long lemon shark comes in from the open ocean to give birth in these calm waters. She knows the place well. After all, data collected from tags reveal she was born here, in this very same mangrove habitat, 20 years ago. Remarkably, she is wired to return to her birthplace, where she'll give her offspring their best shot at survival in these safer waters. This dense underwater forest provides food and shelter for a whole host of baby marine creatures. It's an underwater nursery. These babies will go on to see the oceans and coral reefs with marine life for generations to come. Sharks are crucial in maintaining this mangrove ecosystem. Through the shark's presence and resulting intimidation of grazing species, they can actually regulate the feeding behavior of their prey. Herbivores like turtles, manatees, and certain species of fish are less likely to overeat this precious vegetation when they're on the lookout for sharks that could be roaming the area. So how do these sharks help humans? These mangrove ecosystems also serve as a vital defense against hurricanes. They decrease the force of powerful waves as they hit the coastline during storms. Just by swimming, Sharks keep these coastal mangrove and seagrass areas healthy and strong, maximizing our own storm defense when hurricanes hit our shores. We know all this because of the tagging technology that helps us to understand our oceans and the importance of preserving ocean habitats. If we make sure this shark has a nursery to come back to, we give our oceans, its marine life, and us the healthiest social network.